So this is the M96X featuring the Amalogic S905X processor and it's the first one we've received to feature the latest Nougat firmware. It was one of the first processors out that featured Marshmallow. Now it's got the Nougat on it and yeah, it's absolutely fine. But we're not going to be looking at Android today on this device. It's a very cheap one. It's only about £28, which is about $35. And we're going to be putting LibreLec on this. My name's Matthew and you are watching another video by the MXQ Project. So this is going to take a while because we need to find the right DTV file. So I've got my SD card ready just here. I've got my M96X and you'll just have to bear with me because I've got to find the right device tree blob to actually work on this motherboard. Anywho, I'll be back in a second, hopefully with a working version of LibreLec for this M96X. <laughs> oh, right, well we did it. So, uh, well, we've got our SD card prepped and we've got our M96. All we've got to do is stick one in into the SD card tray just like that and the great thing about this box is it's got the reset button underneath so there's no sticking or prodding things like this into it just hold it down and uh, away we go it should initiate the boot sequence anyway let's move to the TV now let's have a look at LibreLec on this device works perfectly can you see this brilliant 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 See, Kazak's a fucking genius. So in the end, I decided just to dual boot this system. I thought, let's keep hold of Android just for now. So this operating system, as you've just seen, we've just played some video playback and everything like that. It's all running really nicely and it's just running off an SD card in the SD card tray on the side of the device. So as you've seen, it's running beautifully. Wi-Fi is working, remote's working, USB ports working, everything's working really nicely. And you should expect a really nice experience from Kodi running on LibreLec because LibreLec is such a small operating system and it's just running really nice compared to say Kodi running on, on Android on these devices. So let's move on now. Let's install our retro gaming build and let's play some retro games on the M96X running LibreLec. So I'm sure you'll agree this has improved Kodi running on these devices a hell of a lot. Android does okay, but it can be a little bit sluggish sometimes when running Kodi. Other apps, absolutely fine. So I suggest you keep Android and just dual boot your LibreLec system. And all credit, of course, goes to Kazak. He's a very dedicated developer behind LibreLec for Amorgic devices. It's available for S905, S905, S905 X and D. And hopefully very, very soon will be available for S905 W. You. and of course it's available for the s912 and watch processors as well so my name's matthew thanks for watching guys don't forget to check out the website the mxuproject.com all tutorials on how to actually install this will be on there you can also check out our youtube channel we've got tutorials on there on how to do this of course and our twitter page which is at mxu project and of course the facebook group bunch of lovely people over there very interesting and you can come and chat to us as well and yeah on that note thanks to 
watching guys and we shall see you very very soon